Okay. <clears throat> Any people that I do have that have notifications on my channel, you might want to turn them off, especially if you got kids in the future, because it's going to get ugly. I got two of these. And I am going to be going to DCF. They say that this. There's the other one. I'm going to be making posters. Hey, hey Pete. They say this is not neglect. <laughs> Can you see that? I mean, no way. It's like, what? Are you even kidding me right now? Smile work has. Smile works on Fruitville. Let me show you this right here. Look at what? I'm not playing. Absolutely not playing with DCF. My lawyers, my ex, her mother, are the dude from CIA with all the money and the clout and the uh, what's it called when you have all that stuff that people really admire. But I'll tell you what I do got a lot of is pride. And I got a lot of gump. I'm OCD and I won't quit. <laughs> Trust me, I'm not going to quit. So anybody who is a subscriber, my ex, I've already warned her not to let my son see any more of my videos on my channel to turn off her notifications because it's going to get ugly. You know what? I've had it. <laughs> I've absolutely had it. DCF gave my son to a woman that said I strangled her and I choked her. Oh my God, I did all this crazy stuff. Never ever had a violent charge in my whole entire lifetime. Gave my son to a woman who had me kicked out of the hospital because she wanted to have my son's birth all to herself, which is... It, it makes sense with this woman and her mother. Mother was a nurse. Got fired for <laughs> beating up her elderly husband over 65 and she got trespassed too. Yeah, she got assaulted. But anyway, I think her mother was the one that knew that. Tell the nurses that you don't want uh, the father. I'm not even going to say my name. The father in the delivery room so you can bond with the baby all by yourself and then we'll be ditch him because we only wanted his sperm you know what I'm saying yeah 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 we didn't tell him that you had herpes because he would have never even allowed you in his house so now we got a baby with this guy the doctor had to tell him that you had herpes now we got his baby we're gonna make a bunch of charges up to DCF and then we're gonna leave and DCF is gonna let us you know why because my husband is CIA, 20 years retired, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna float that all over the place. Everybody is gonna know just how golden our word is. You know what I mean? I'm gonna have a drug addict daughter, but my husband, not even her dad, she actually stole from this guy, he stole the bike over, it was supposed to be a felony, he was mad that it only got charged a misdemeanor, misdemeanor because her mother went down there and cried to the police station and they reduced it. Just like her mother got her three, instead of going to prison, her mother got three chances at rehab and she ran from each rehabilitation center to do more drugs. But did my lawyer say that in mediation? No. My lawyer said, so when you were no longer in the rehabilitation center, did you do drugs? So what do you think? Why do you think that she ran three times? to go get drugs. Now let, me, now, now let me tell you. My ex had, was given a car by her mother, of course. Yeah, I mean, her mother enabled her like a mad dog because her mother did not do her justice as a child. Let's just say. Now her mother gave her a car and everything else. And I mean, put naked 
massages on the flyer instead of just house cleaning it was and naked massages which why would you put that on your daughter's flyer when she's had a problem with prostitution and she's been a drug addict why would you do that to her when she's got a family with a very good man me and a baby coming on the way you're her only grandchild I might add and if I knew that your daughter had herpes I would have never touched her hmm. if I had known that she beat up her previous boyfriend Scott twice and she cut her own arm, three different lacerations, would have not touched her. If my attorney, not going to say names, would have brought any of this up in court or even acknowledged to me that it actually did happen and she had a bad record. Oh, yeah, the security guard at Bell's department store, she went there two times in one day to steal stuff. The second time, the security guard chased her and caught her. The first time, she jumped on a jiffy bus and got away with the merchandise. The second time he watched her, he caught her. And he, in a report, said she was swinging and kicking. That is fighting, ladies and gentlemen. That is not a little contempt. She did with the, same, with the cops, same thing. Trying not to let them get her, you know, her loot. Her, you know, the stuff that she stole. Massive thief. She went to YMCA. <laughs> she got a membership and then stole from him four times in one day. Four charges. Pried open a locker with a crowbar or something. Going through bags. Got somebody's keys out of the locker. And then went in their car and stole stuff out of their trunk. She's had, I think, two or three or four Grand Theft Autos. Uh <laughs> At the time DCF took my kid, I hadn't been arrested in eight years. I had been clean off of drugs for 10, 11, 12 years, something to that effect. I'd never been, been doing better in my life. I'm 54 years old at this point. At that point, I was about 48, 49. I already have two grandchildren and two daughters that are grown. <laughs> I never ever had an assault and battery charge ever in my life. My ex had three dirty drug tests for Two for THC, one for my lawyer didn't even want to find out what it was. And then she swore up and down that I did not hear what I said. I should have got my son back right then. But my most fabulous lawyer in the whole wide world didn't want to even acknowledge it to me. I had to wait for the transcripts to get it. And then they tried every single way to bully and browbeat me from getting it saying, you know, you're disabled. It costs $300. Are you going to make your mom poor? Pay for it? She can't pay for it. Do you want some cheese without wine? Yeah, that's how my lawyers talk to me. Ha <laughs> ha! Did my lawyers bring up anything about my ex's violent past? No. Was I accused of being violent to my ex? Yes. Is that the reason why that that hurt the state? Yes. Did she say that she went and lived in a, a woman's battered shelter for two months when she left here? Ha 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 ha! Anybody believe that? You're a dumb! You're a dummy. Okay? CIA. Big Daddy Warbucks has a whole safe full of guns. You don't think she's protecting his, well, not his grandbaby, because he's not related. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's really not his wife's grandbaby, because she stole them from me. Yeah, she sure did. In which I got her on a police report, absolutely lying. Can you believe that? A CIA Wife is lying. Mm -hmm. Was she trying to use my disabilities against me? Yeah, because I got Tourette's. And I wiggle my jaw and I grip my teeth and stuff like that sometimes. And I shuffle and stuff. Especially when I get nervous and I get anxious like I am when, when I'm with her, with her mother. After she just had my 72-year-old mother arrested for assault and battery. Who, who had never been arrested before in her life. A, a CIA retired. 200 pound man had my mother arrested for assaulting him when it was two against one and he wasn't even supposed to be there because the last confrontation that my mother had with him my mother was afraid of him he wasn't even supposed to be there so my mother got two assault and battery charges can anybody believe that now she's 76 years old those are the only charges she's ever had in her life is from if you ask me, two criminals, three criminals. Carla wasn't there, but whoops. I'm not going to say a last name. How about that? I'm not going to say a last name. Mm -hmm. Do you want your, your little 
acts, your criminal acts protected, guess what? They're not going to be, I promise you, because I'm, oh, I'm so glad I figured out how to file motions myself. And if you ever think that I'm just going to sit back and let this happen, sadly mistaken, so was your mommy and your CIA daddy. You thought your guard dogs were going to keep me away by bullying me and hanging up on me and Skype and threatening to take away my visitations and all that good stuff. It's amazing how people act when you put motions against them. When they don't think you can, when they don't think you can do it yourself. Yeah, but for two and a half months, I struggled to get that typed out, get it all worked out, and get it all set out. And I am not done. I still have motions that I'm going to file on DCF, the biggest department of women and children. They don't give a crap. They do not give a crap about men. Let me tell you something. If you're a man, you better wrap that rascal like 10 times and then cover her whole body with saran wrap. And then go in the, in the bathroom and take care of yourself. Because in Sarasota, <laughs> you're done. You're, it doesn't matter if your ex has two drunk driving offenses. Just recently, she got a breathalyzer on her car. If she's already beat up, <laughs> has a very violent history, and you have zero. Not ever, not one. Sorry, I'm twice her age. She can have whatever she wants. Oh, especially if she got a CIA stepdaddy with a very evil mother who wants her only grandbaby to be with her. <laughs> they got that kid out of state, too. They used the police. They used DCF. They used the courts. And even a freaking judge said, it's okay. Take the kid all the way through. 3,000 miles away from it. The father who never had a chance to say anything. No, wait. DCF came to my house and they said, oh, it doesn't look like a candle was thrown into the wall and that clock looks like, you know, I could have stomped it myself and smashed it. But yeah, Carta, amazingly. Whoops! Not going to say the last name. She said in mediation, oh, yeah. I had to throw the candle on the clock at him to keep me away. No, keep me away. Keep me safe from him. <laughs> the most violent woman in the freaking world that I've ever known. No. <laughs> I had to kick in my door because she wasn't answering me. She already tried to kill herself in my house. I had to kick in the door to, to rescue her and dial 911. She tried to kill herself three times. DCF gave my son... Because somebody tried to kill himself three times. And she blamed the last one on me. Here's what I'm up against. I'm up with dealing with this to myself. I gotta be my own lawyer. If you're a man in Sarasota County, Florida, you better run. You better become gay. You better wrap that rascal. You better not think about having a family because if DCF gets a hold of your case, you're done! The pictures I showed of my son's teeth, here, I'll show them again. They said, no! Neglect! Are you absolutely even freaking kidding me? If this was their child, They would have called out. I'm not going to cuss. They would have called out the National Guard. But they actually sent me a letter back saying no neglect. Three different boxes were checked. <laughs> Look at all my pictures of my son. This is me. This is what you do when you don't have custody of your kid and you don't see him performance at a time. And you miss him every day. And you wonder, how did you get clean and you do everything right and you never assault anybody? 
you get off drugs and you're doing so good and you haven't been arrested forever. How does a woman that has been arrested 17 times in the previous 10 years to moving into your house? I tried to kill herself three times. Who's had two drunk driving? charges who still has a breathalyzer on her car those are my grandkids and my daughters mm, yeah that's my son when he's born those are my two daughters that's my first grandkid look at my grandkids these look how nice and good and pretty and white they are that does not look like my son's teeth at all Yeah, bad guy. Yeah, I grew marijuana. I sure did. Yeah. I sure did. Bad guy. Bad guy. Oh, bad guy. Bad guy. Bad guy. <laughs> bad guy. But I'll tell you what. In my ex's house, you won't find that one picture of her or my son in there anywhere. Oh, look at there. Is that another one? That's another one. Of oh, me and my kid. Look at I raised baby birds. Yeah, look at me, little. Eye. I picked my son up from the airport as Batman. Look at the baby birds. Look at the baby fish I raised. Look at my family. That those are my young daughters when I was married for eight years. Who I got reports from that I'm a great daddy and I've never been violent. Look at this. The very first day I got to pick my kid up from school. The very, he ran to me. He went. went. But I guess when you've stolen your kid, it doesn't matter about picking him up from school and stuff. You don't, you don't care about stuff like that. Here is another picture, and look at this. Do I have her in my thing for my son to look at? Yes, yes, I do for my son. I don't want my son to want to show pictures to his friends and not be able to show his mother. Oh, which by the way, took me back and we had, I got her pregnant twice. Oh, here's another one. Look at how much I'm in the family. Yeah, I actually went back together with her because it was my opportunity of least resistance and I actually got her pregnant again and, uh, and, uh, yeah, it wasn't good. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I love that picture. But, any rage, yeah, if you're a man of Sarasota County, trust me, do not have a freaking baby with a woman because I promise you, you will not be a happy camper. Dun, dun, dun. I love that picture of me and my son. Got him a go kart. <laughs> he is the best kid. He is the absolute best kid in the whole wide world, my son. I have him everywhere. I love my daughters too. Very much. And my grandchildren, but oh, my son's the one I gotta really fight for my grandkids and my daughters are doing just fine. They always have been. But my son is the one that needs me right now. So if anybody is has kids or whatever, they're watching my channel. I'm gonna be protesting, I'm gonna be snapping, I'm gonna be lighting this town on fire. Wait a minute. What? No. Not literally. Not literally, people. But I'm gonna be making things shake. I'm gonna change the laws. And if I can't do it, pfft, there ain't nobody. I get two cell phones full of evidence. If I can't do it, there ain't nobody. I promise you they can. And if you're a man of Sarasota, by the time you guys get done seeing me protesting and painting the town, run for the hills, bro. Run for the hills. Go to another town, another county, another state, probably. Go to California. They probably won't care about you either. Happy day!